Claremont Church is planning a, quote, Make America Straight Again conference in Claremont, and it's scheduled to happen just days after the third year mark of the Pulse shooting. Now, that church is also asking law enforcement locally for protection during their event. Channel 9's Mert Price just spoke to the church's pastor, and Mert, what did he tell you about this idea? Well, the pastor says once word spread about what they were planning here at the Revival Baptist Church, they received a lot of praise from supporters, but he also says they got a lot of backlash from people who found out about this event and who are not happy about it. The Revival Baptist Church here in Claremont is getting ready for their Make America Straight Again conference. It will run from Friday to Sunday and has already stirred up controversy. In preparation for the event, the church leaders reached out to the Lake County Sheriff's Office and asked if they could hire deputies to work security for the conference. However, the Sheriff's Office declined. We reached out to the Sheriff's Office to ask why, and officials released this statement in part saying, we have a process in place for reviewing and approving or rejecting each request for security details that the agency receives. Now, the statement went on to say, it appears as though the organization disparages homosexuals and will be targeting them during the group's conference this week, officials said. The fact that the timing of this conference coincides with the three-year anniversary of the Pulse nightclub shooting in nearby Orlando did not go unnoticed by our staff. We felt as though the timing of this conference is in poor taste. Here's what the pastor had to say about the sheriff's office declining the church's request. I was a little upset. I was surprised because we're actually just asking for a police presence just to deter uh, any kind of violence. The pastor went on to tell us that he actually went out and hired private security to make sure that everything here runs smoothly. The sheriff's office also told us that they will probably be in the area just to make sure that everything is peaceful as well. We're live in Lake County, Merck Price, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. Make America straight again. A local church standing against the agenda of the LGBTQ community. A pastor bringing his controversial campaign to Central Florida. All we were asking for is a police presence, not an endorsement. The news station learning the cops do not even want to be a part of this event. Yeah, deputies say they're not giving this event any extra security. The news station's Robert Guadarrama is live working this story tonight. Robert. Charles Luann, good evening. The conference being planned by this church striking a chord with people as it's being held the same week as the Pulse anniversary. Even the local sheriff's office saying it's in poor taste. We want America to put the homosexuals back in the closet. Pastor Patrick Boyle of Revival Baptist Church in Claremont is stirring up quite the controversy. The church set to host the Make America Straight Again conference this weekend. It's a conference geared towards, um, as a local church, standing against the agenda of the LGBTQ community. The church advocating for capital punishment for homosexuals. It's Gay Pride Month in Orlando, and they're out there advocating their cause. We have every right to advocate ours. Protests already planned. C.K. Blackwood says about 30 people have committed to a peaceful protest of the event. We need to send a message out that in this city, of all times, of all cities, of all time periods, we need to put a message out that love is greater and love is better. The church has also received threats, so Boyle wanted to hire Lake County deputies. His request denied. The Lake County Sheriff's Office saying, quote, it appears the organization disparages homosexuals and will be targeting them during the group's conference this week. Furthermore, the fact that the timing of this conference coincides with the three-year anniversary of the Pulse nightclub shooting in nearby Orlando did not go unnoticed by our staff. We felt as though the timing of the conference is in poor taste, and we chose not to allow the group to hire our deputies. I mean, oh, you don't believe politically like I do, so I can't come protect you. All we were asking for is a police presence, not an endorsement. The church is expecting about 300 people to attend the conference. A location for the event has not been disclosed yet due to safety concerns. The pastor has hired private security. Reporting live in Lake County, I'm Robert Guadarrama, Fox 35 News.